Hi, everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, it is Tuesday, October the 1st. Happy October to you guys, kicking off the new month here. I'm coming at you all with a couponing chat video, a major update about the Shopkick app. I can't believe Shopkick did this. I'm really shocked. Like when I saw that they did this, I was pretty dumbfounded. Not even going to lie um, because, yeah, I was not expecting them to do this. And so I knew. I knew I had to come on here and make a video to let all of you guys know because Shopkick has been kind of a hot topic these last couple of months, um, at least on my channel, because they implemented a new policy. And it's not the new policy that's the problem. Like, I actually totally get why they did this policy, because they have to, basically, in accordance to the IRS guidelines. So the policy is not the problem. It's how they were going about the policy um, incorrectly and having incorrect like figures. That was the problem. I'll get into the whole situation and tell you guys all about it um, in just a second. But yeah, it's been kind of crazy. And many of us actually stopped using the app, myself included I haven't done a Shopkick offer since like August July August something like that I think it was August um but yeah you know a lot of us just stopped using it because it was no longer worth using after they made this change I think a lot of people stopped using it and maybe that's why Shopkick finally did something about this um so yeah it's definitely a crazy thing I'm shocked that when I noticed that they actually did something about it I was really shocked because I had gone to customer service several different times like basically they just didn't care no matter how many times i tried they just kind of gave a generic copy and paste answer that really had nothing to do with what i was even asking so i was shocked to see that something actually came of this so i want to let you guys know because i talked about why i wasn't using shopkick and why all this stuff was going on but i want to give you all an update because yeah i was shocked i was really shocked and it's a major update um, from how it's been the last couple of months. So let me just kind of go on into the details here. What What is going on with Shopkick? Before I do get into all of my thoughts and everything on this situation, I do want to say, I want to give a disclaimer here. I am not a tax professional. If you're looking for financial advice, go talk to a CPA or another tax professional. These videos are for entertainment purposes, giving you my thoughts um, on couponing and things like that um, on the rebate apps, but this is not financial advice. So go talk to a CPA to get the exact answers you need about taxes and things like that. This is just my opinions and my understanding, all for entertainment purposes, not for financial advising. So be aware of that. Wanted to put that out there. So let's go ahead and get on into this. So Shopkick started implementing a new policy, I don't know, July, August. Um, once people had started getting over $500 in money for the entire year. This came from a collection of different things. This comes from the purchase kicks. This comes from scan kicks. If you get referrals, which I do want to say this, I haven't gotten referrals on Shopkick in a couple of years. There's like a, a maximum of how many referrals you can get on Shopkick. And I hit that a long time ago. So this is not from referrals. I know that was a question last time that I had. Um, so from the scan kicks, from watching videos, from purchase kicks. Once you reach $500 of cashing out on Shopkick, no matter where you were getting it from, like no matter where you got the kicks from, it started bringing up this message requesting your tax identification information. So they're looking for things like your first name, your last name, your social security number, your address, basically ways to identify you for tax purposes. The reason Shopkick said they needed this is because if somebody exceeded $600 in non-purchased kicks, which is really important, they said the IRS require them to get our tax information, which is true. That is actually 100% true. The IRS does have a rule set in place that if companies pay somebody more than $600, they are supposed to send out a 1099 form. So that is like, let's say you drove for DoorDash and made $600 or you, um, you know, did some like contracting work or whatever. Um, Shopkick, if you earn $600 or more of goods or service transactions through third-party payment platforms, you'll receive a 1099-K form. So that's why they were saying they need the information because if you exceed $600 in non-purchase kicks, okay, that's what the important part is here, goods and services transactions, you'll receive that 1099-K. So keep in mind, the IRS does expect, you know, individuals to report all taxable income, whether you get a 1099-K or not. However, these companies are not like required to send you a 1099-K and get your information unless you exceed $600. So that's not the problem. Like, that's not the issue. I get why they want information if you exceed $600 in non-purchase kicks. And that's where this is a problem. Because what Shopkick was doing is they were just lumping all your kicks that you cashed out this year 
whether they were from receipts or whether they were from watching videos or skin kicks. There is a difference between purchase and non-purchase kicks. Shopkick even stated this on their website, that this does not apply to kicks earned for purchases. It only applies to kicks earned for non-purchase redemptions, such as kicks for scans, kicks for walk-ins, and kicks earned for activities, such as watching videos or instant surprise kicks. So basically, if it required you to make a purchase, that does not count. And that's what most of us were doing anyways, was making purchases. The skin kicks, yes, we do have to skin the kicks for, you know, to make sure we're getting the right thing. That is taxable. But the kicks earned from just buying the product, like when you actually have to buy the product to get the kicks, those are not taxable per shop kick. And the IRS does also say this, um, according to this article right here, that the IRS treats rebates, you know, as a discount, not taxable income. Now, again, I'm not a tax professional, but this is my understanding of what I've seen. Literally, that's what Shopkick said on their website. Like, they were saying that this, you know, the purchase kicks don't count. It's just like the scans and the walking kicks and things like that. It's not the purchases. So we should have been fine, but they were. we were not. Like, seriously, we were not. Once everyone went over $500 of gift card redemptions, this is combined for all the scan kicks, all that stuff. This is good mind from the skin kicks, walking kicks, purchase kicks, all of it. It didn't matter. They lumped it all together into one amount. So for me, it actually said I had $595 of non-purchase kicks, which I fact checked and that was not true. Literally $595 is what I had gotten out for the entire year. Okay, like that was the entire year's worth of kicks that I cashed out into gift cards. So they lumped together all my kicks from the entire year that I'd cashed out into gift cards and they said they were all non-purchase kicks. Which is an outright lie. It's a total lie. I went through and calculated exactly how many of my kicks were from skin kicks and walk-ins. So I went through and calculated the entire thing out. And literally guys, literally, this is what I ended up earning in skin kicks, walk-in kicks, any kicks that were from non-purchases from January to like August. It was 2,610 kicks or roughly $10.44 literally and they're saying that 595 of my kicks were from non-purchases which is bogus because you could literally go through and see i cashed out 595 the entire year and you could see all the purchase kicks that i earned this year like almost all of them were purchase kicks but they refused i had contacted them several times they would not adjust it they basically just told me that i needed to put my social security number in because once i go over 600 dollars, they're going to be required for that information and here's my thing, like I totally understand why the apps have to get our information if we go over $600 in goods and service transactions. If that was the case, if I'd really done over $600 of scan kicks alone, then I would have like given them my social security no problem because that's, you know, I get that. I've done that for other um, ways that I make money. But for Shopkick, when I've literally earned like barely $10 of skin kicks, I'm not going to give them my social security numbers. They can go tell this money was from non-purchase kicks when it was not. And I pointed that out to them multiple times and they just were adamant like, okay, you, you know, um, we just need you to put your social security number in. And it's like, no. So I stopped using Shopkick. I hadn't used Shopkick in a couple of months now. Um, and I've missed it, honestly. Shopkick has been one of my favorite apps for years. Their rebates are really high value a lot of times. And I just really love Shopkick. But with them like going to falsely say I've earned all this money that I haven't earned, that's not fair and that's not right. So I was like, no, I'm not going to use it. And I was not too hopeful they get it fixed because they wouldn't like literally I contacted them like three times. They were just like adamant, you know, oh, you got to put your social security number in. I've seen other comments of people even having worse experiences than I did. So I was like, okay, I'm just like done. I was done with Shopkick at that point because they just wouldn't do anything about it. And they literally just were refusing to divide the purchase kicks or the non-purchase kicks, even though their website literally says that's what they're supposed to do. They wouldn't do it. And it didn't matter how many times I contacted them. They just didn't care. And so at that point, like if they really, if I really had earned over $600 of skin kicks, which is near impossible, by the way, you have to go around like scanning kicks all day long at a bunch of different places. But if I really earned that much in skin kicks, I would give them that no problem. But it's the fact that they're misstating my income and not dividing the purchase kicks from the non-purchase kicks. And there is a difference. So I was like, I'm done. I'm done with Shopkick. I still don't talk about it in my videos because a lot of you guys still do use it. Um, but I stopped using it myself. It was a bummer because I really do like Shopkick a lot. Um, but it just got to the point where it's not worth it if they're going to misstate my income like that. So I stopped using Shopkick. And I feel like a lot of you guys did too because I think it's the only reason they did anything about it, quite frankly, because I contacted several times and just they didn't care. They didn't care. I was done. I was done with it. I was still talking about it for you guys because a lot of you were nowhere near $600 in purchase kicks. So you wouldn't have this issue. But I was like, whatever, I'm just done. So every time I'd go on, you know, for matchups, I would see the notice saying I need to put my tax information in. Um, but something different happened this weekend. So I went on Shopkick this weekend and I didn't see anything about the taxes. I was like, what? 
what happened? Why has it not got that tax notice up anymore? Like, why? Well, I go to my account, and it is now showing that only $9 of non-purchased kicks were redeemed. Now, remember, I got that number of $10 and some change, um, but I don't think I've cashed out all my kicks at that point, so it'll probably be adjusted um, once I cash out again. To reflect $10 or $11 or whatever, but I was so stoked to see that they're now actually dividing it, so they're no longer lumping all the kicks together. They're dividing the walking kicks, skin kicks, all that, the non-purchase kicks, from the purchase kicks, so now our purchase kicks are no longer inaccurately tracking towards this threshold, and we no longer have to turn in our social security number and all of that, unless we actually get to the $600 of non-purchase kicks. For sure we'll be using Shopkick again. Like I said, I've never stopped talking about it in my videos, but I didn't personally use it for the last couple of months, but now that they actually are doing things correctly, I am totally down with um, using Shopkick again. They do have some really good deals, of right? course, right now they really don't when I can actually, you know, use it again. Um, but anyways, I am super stoked that Shopkick fixed this. So I wanted to let you guys know, I know a lot of my videos are about like negative things going on in the couponing world, but this is a positive that we actually don't have to worry about this with Shopkick anymore, that they righted the wrong. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video though. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching.